I will be trying for the very first time today in this video. The pack itself looks so much similar with Dr. Rachel's sunscreen. Do you even know that the is okay now to open it? If you have been looking for affordable moisturizing sunscreen that doesn't leave a white cast and also very much effective, I think this video is for you because today's video I'm going to tell you guys my experience with these two sunscreens. Actually, this has been my sunscreen for a very long time now. So two days ago, I went to the market and I saw this sunscreen. Having seen the reviews here on YouTube, I decided to get it and try it as well. And I will be trying for the very first time today in this video. The pack itself looks so much similar with Dr. Rachel's sunscreen. Do you even know that the Eastline or Eastline sunscreen, I don't know the correct pronunciation, but let's go with Eastline sunscreen and the Dr. Rachel sunscreen is made by the same person. It's still the same Dr. Rachel that made this one, also made this one. This one is just like a baby product to the company so guys this is the pack i just opened it and there is a receipt inside the manual which i've actually read all through the eastland sunscreen and the dr Rachel sunscreen has so much in common they look so much alike the pack is the same thing and now they say that it doesn't the promises of the manufacturer i'll be reading from where i jotted it the promise of the manufacturer they said it doesn't leave a white cast hydrates and suits the skin contains hyaluronic acid niacinamide and vitamin c they also say that it doesn't clog the pore and can be used as a makeup base yeah it can be used as a makeup base no wonder they actually made this particular one that is new that has nude color so that one looks so much like foundation that's innovative anyways i can say that and again this one is spf 50. now let's go to the dr rachel sunscreen the ones we have been using now they said it hydrates the skin just the same thing the east line promises to hydrate the skin and it prevents the appearance of dark spots actually the east line does not promise to prevent dark spots but the dr rachel this one promises to prevent the appearance of dark spots it also said that it has an invisible finish which means that there is no white cast it doesn't give a white cast and this one is also anti-aging sunscreen but the eastline sunscreen is not an anti-aging sunscreen there is no indication that it is an anti-aging sunscreen but this one but they only indicated it on the body that it is an anti-aging sunscreen the major ingredient in this is vitamin C, which is an antioxidant. The Eastling sunscreen also contains vitamin C, but not as a major ingredient. But this one has vitamin C as a major ingredient, which is an antioxidant. And it is SPF 60, whereas the Eastline is SPF 50. It actually gives an invisible finish, like there is no white cast. I've actually made a review, a total review of this product here on my channel. Maybe I'm going to leave the video on the comment section or description box for anybody that would want to watch that one so this product has almost finished i've almost finished it so but this is my personal experience like i told you it doesn't leave a white cast they're actually fruitful with that and it moisturizes the face for some people they even sweat some people who has uh, normal to oil skin combination skin to oil skin they actually sweat when they use this product but me as as a dry skin person, I actually don't sweat that much unless if I finish applying it and then go out immediately. And if the sun is too much, I will sweat actually. But minus that, I don't actually see it as a as a problem. But for some people who has oil skin or normal skin, they actually sweat a lot after using this particular product. I'm going to be trying this product for the very first time now before I will give my first hand review first thing first i actually like the packaging of this product it looks so much like a perfume and it's so fancy i love that for that one i kind of like this one like the packaging of this one as to compare to this one i prefer this to this okay now to open it
da só. Sorry, my hair is just tired. Mm. Guys, this is the finishing of this product and it doesn't take much time. After massaging it onto your skin, just give it a minute or two. Everything will just sink into your skin without leaving any trace. I actually love this part of it for the way it feels. It feels so cooling and soothing to the skin. Yeah, nothing difficult. If you've used this one, you will actually have similar experience because I can't actually tell which one is the best at this point unless maybe after using it for a month or two months then i'll be able to tell if there is anything the good thing about these two products is that they are super super affordable for you to be able to get a good sunscreen that doesn't leave a white cast in the market today you need to have like ten thousand naira upwards but these two products this dr Rasha has actually made life easier for some of us who you know who are just regular girls trying to <laughs> you get what i mean we don't get money some of us who don't have money yeah that's exactly what i meant okay for some of us who don't actually have enough money to buy expensive sunscreens these sunscreens got us covered because they give the same results with the expensive maybe not 100 percent the same results but they will work for you okay they will work they don't have they don't leave white casts and there is no irritations there is no stress another thing i noticed now is that it actually moisturizes the skin if you look at my face you see that it gives it gave me this uh, you know shiny face yeah i think it moisturizes the skin as well just like they say that it hydrates the skin i will have to accept or believe them that it hydrates the skin because if you look at my face it's actually hydrated my face immediately i applied it yeah my face looks hydrated right now as you can see yeah so guys this is going to be the end of this video probably i will come back for more information if i find anything that i feel i should share with you guys i will come back and tell you guys for the price I actually got this at the price of five thousand naira and this one is also the same price with this again just like this dr Rache sunscreen this one also has a bigger size it has the one that is a little bit bigger than this i don't know how much that one will be sold in the market because i didn't even check i didn't even ask so but this one is five thousand naira. the prices might differ depending on wherever you are buying your own from okay so yeah this is it for that and that is all i have to say about this and this if you have watched this part consider subscribing at this moment if you haven't and also hit the like button to like my videos because liking the videos it basically tells youtube that this video is helpful and youtube will help to push it out there for more views okay for more people to see it and this is going to be the end i will see you guys later before then please out of trouble bye guys